Now, the Indian government recently informed the courts that soon enough there will be a vaccine available for kids in India, saying that as early as August, Zycov D will be available for all above the age of 12. So let's tell you a little more about Zycov D. Well, it is developed by a Gujarat-based company called Zydus Cadella. So after Covaxin, uh, Zycov D would be the second made in India vaccine. But the thing here to note is that it is going to be the first COVID DNA vaccine in the world. So what is a DNA vaccine and how does it work? Well, a DNA vaccine essentially carries into the body the genetic code uh, for that part of the virus that triggers the immune system in the body. The message is decoded then using host cells own machinery to produce the antigen or to stimulate immune response to simply understand to produce antibodies. Now this ensures that later on when you actually get uh, con in contact with the virus, your body already knows how to fight it on and fight it effectively as well. So it is in that way a little similar to what uh, we had introduced to you earlier, the messenger RNA, but not quite, we'll tell you how. Other vaccines, for example, such as Covishield, Sputnik and Covaxin, they're all based on the established viral vector and inactivated forms and platforms as well. The tech is new, but there is advantage to that. How? Because the DNA vaccines are theoretically easy to redesign quickly to the various mutations that might be out there. Scaling up of manufacturing is also relatively easier in the DNA vaccines as it requires a biosafety level of one. That is, it does not use a live virus. For example, Covaxin uh, uses and would require a BSL-3 facility. Much more safety and tech that is used there. And the company is setting up manufacturing plant to produce 120 million doses of Zycov D a year. In addition, the company also is looking at possible tie-ups with so partners to add another 60 to 70 million doses with a target production capacity of 200 million doses. But the challenge is, it seems to be really promising right now, but the challenge is here is that it's not a single dose vaccine, not even a double dose, but it actually is a three dose vaccine. And doses have to be administered at day 0, day 28, and then day 56. This could lead to, as some are saying, higher pricing as well. However, so far, there has been no conversation with the government of India, at least at NDTV speaking out from sources, on the pricing of this vaccine. They're still working it out. And ultimately then, let's talk about efficacy. Isn't that key then? The trial data and the efficacy is not released, but the company is testing the vaccine on around 28,216 volunteers in over 12 years of age across 60 clinical trial sites that have been set up. So that's really all you need to know about Zycov D. But that's not the only contender when it comes to vaccine for kids. Let's bring you who else is in the pipeline, which other vaccine is in the pipeline. Let's begin with Moderna. Well, that is, remember, the mRNA vaccine, the clinical data trial for phase two, phase three studies have shown 96% efficacy, and it has been effectively administered, USA as well, on kids between 12 to 17 uh, to conduct a pediatric study involving infants and much younger children that is also uh, going to take place. And India is likely to import this vaccine by the end of the year. Bharat Biotech, remember, Covaxin, that's an inactivated vaccine that is already doing trials across the country between 6 to 18 years of age and their results will also be out. They're already doing this in AIM centers across the country. Pfizer-BioNTech, again, messenger RNA vaccine, clinical trials done in early February 2021 and the trials showed 99% protection rate. It is approved for inoculation in kids 12 and above in USA, Canada, and even Singapore. Johnson & Johnson, next one, which is a viral vector vaccine, likely to be available in India by July. And it's a single dose vaccine. But again, the trials on kids between 12 to 17, that's still going on. And we still need to get more data on that. Results and clinical data is not yet known when it comes to their efficacy in kids. Sinovac is another vaccine which is being administered to kids. Well, it's an inactivated virus vaccine and China 
has approved that that's the only country where it is being used at the moment uh, between kids of 3 and 17 years of age. Indonesia recommends Sinovac vaccine and that makes it the second country then in the world to actually be administering it to, ki uh, to kids.